Right off the top tonight, a live look and welcome to our number seven of the D.C. City Council getting an earful about its proposal to make gay marriage legal. Thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm Sean Yancey. And I'm Laura Evans in tonight for Brian. Hundreds lined up today wanting to have their voices heard and the debate still raging right now. Fox Eyes Bob Barnard live at the Wilson Building with more on the gay marriage battle. Bob? Well, Laura, gay marriages performed elsewhere are now recognized here in the District of Columbia. The legislation being debated upstairs right now would allow same-sex couples to legally marry here. Bigotry is bigotry. Discrimination is discrimination. Most of the nearly 300 people who signed up to tell the D.C. Council how they feel support allowing gay couples to legally marry in the District of Columbia. Marriage does matter. It does make a difference. Same-sex relationships are a part of a rich tapestry of life in our beloved District of Columbia. We're really talking about civil marriage. We're not talking about religious marriage. But there is strong opposition. I only have one dictionary in my home, which is a Webster dictionary. And it states that a marriage is a civil union between one man and one woman. Many of the city's black churches are leading the charge against changing the law in this city of 600,000 residents. There's a powerful lobbying group with money, influence, and power that is pushing away others from weighing in on the issue. They want the matter of legalizing gay marriage in the nation's capital put to a vote of the people. The reason the opponents of marriage equality want a referendum is they know that more often than not, you can stir enough hate and fear to turn neighbors against neighbors. There's no justice in that with 10 co-sponsors who have already indicated their position on this bill. Indeed, 10 D.C. council members have said they will vote for legalizing gay marriage in the nation's capital, rights afforded to citizens of six states. And so it is especially important for me now, as an openly gay member of this council, to be able to say that I want you, your respect, from my point of view when it comes to marriage equality as a human rights issue in this city and in this nation. Tonight's public hearing is expected to go for about another half hour. It will continue on next Monday night. The full D.C. Council is expected to vote on this legislation by the end of the year. With the mayor's signature and approval from Congress, gay marriages, gay couples having weddings could start here in the district January of 2011. Laura. All right. Bob Barnard, live for us tonight. Thank you, Bob. The D.C. Board of Elections also held a hearing, hearing on same-sex marriage today. Opponents of gay marriage are asking the board to put a measure on the city ballot that would give voters the option of banning same-sex unions. We're asking the board to let the people vote. Whether the vote is for or against the marriage initiative, um, that is up to the people to decide. The people, though, we feel should make this critical decision on the definition of marriage in the district, not 13 members of the city council. The initiative would go on next year's ballot. Board members did not make a decision today, and there's no set timeline for them to do so.